All right, family, we're heading down into the male dungeons here at Cape Coast. We're going to catch up to our group. British identified them and brought them from this side to this place. So they created a door here. So they called this place a strong room. So British were not coming to clean the solid waste. So the waste started piling. It started from one level to the other to the other. It got to a time that this bridge was completely covered with waste. The waste reached some high levels. So I am really sure. Therefore, from here, those that move to the side of it, the one with the light and No, watch, go this way, go back a bit. And I move this way a bit. You can stand there, my brother. My brother, can you move toward the side of it? The one with the trap. Can you move to the side of it? Oh, the trap is standing there. Oh, I want to show you something about this one. Oh, watch, just, watch just step on the wall. Thank you, it's okay. Now, if you look on the wall, you can see this white markings. This works. Because they stopped cleaning this place, the waste then piled to the bottom of this markings. Mm -hmm. They reached this height on the ground. Reach the height. Yes. Reach this height. The bricks, the height. The bricks was buried. Mm -hmm. But 1974, University of Ghana, Archaeological Department came to do excavation here before they found the original bricks. Mm. That was when they marked the wall. So many of them died. Those who died were not buried. They tied stone onto their waist and they threw them into the sea. Mm -hmm. But they left a portion of the waist. We still have it here. So we are going to see. Therefore, those here, can you move to the middle of the place? This is different from the bricks. This is the waste that they left behind at that time. So that generations get on the bone to come and see. So if you were to come here before 1974, you wouldn't see these bricks. You see something that you threw out. This one was tested and it proved that it had toilet, urine, blood, leftover food, sweat, and other things. So this is human waste. But because it's been wow. a long time, it has changed now, like an ordinary soil. I didn't want to say this waste. So if you go to the other side, then you wouldn't see the bricks. You will see something like this, and that is all waste. But that place has not been excavated. Some are thicker than this one. Some are like three times this one. 
Mm -hmm. Four or five times. So that was, times. was that intentional to keep them from escaping? No, that, is, that was intentional. But the main reason was to prevent Europeans, to protect Europeans against attacks. Oh, okay. It was to protect them because they were saying that before you can attack and break this entire structure, it will be difficult. It was built for protection as well. Okay. That's why they made the walls as thick as this one. And they are solid. So that is the first one, 200 per day. This was 200, this was 200. And you can't see the bricks here. This is all waste. And these two holes were windows, for those who kept it, windows. And this one served as a spy hole. But on top of this dungeon, British went to build a church. They said they were Christians. And they go to church. And they called the church Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. SPG. Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. And that one changed into Anglican Church in Ghana. So they were up preaching the Bible, and blacks were here suffering for money. That's why I'm going to see the urine and the middle, so let's move. This is the last chamber for the male captives. Oh, those are the cannibal inside. And there were 200 or so here at the time. So out of the 1,000 captives, by the time they were ready to go, the many of them died. The survived ones, that was not the end of their journey. They were gathered in dungeons, chained together, when they brought them here. At that time, there was a hole at the back of this white cloth. They call it a tunnel. So they fall them through the tunnel. They take them to the door of no return. And that was the end of all. They did not come up again. But the tunnel was blocked in the year 1833 when the trade stopped. That was done to signify the end of slave trade. But when we go outside, the hole is there, I'm sure you. But nobody can see that. When they bring them from the darkness to this point, because they were here for over a month, some were actually sick and weak. So when they got here, they looked at the sick ones, they would select them. And they send them to that small room to bring weight temporarily to allow the stronger ones to go. That was why they created this window. So that because there wasn't light in the olden days, this would help them to see the sick. And it was not sick. So they call this particular place selection room or sorting room. So whenever the stronger ones live, the sick ones were brought from there and kept back in the dungeons, but they died because they were not given any medical attention. What we have in front of us this morning, it is not part of the dungeon system. It is a shrine. And we have to understand that before Europeans came to Africa with Christianity and Islam, that was also brought by the Arabs, Africans, with new God. Our people prayed to God through smaller God's lives. So before British built a castle, in 1665, this place was actually a rocky area. There was a huge rock over here. So the locals who were here were coming to this place to do rituals on the rock. But when the British built a castle on the rock, any time the local people wanted to come and pour libation, British would say no. So the locals, the locals came for a sample of that rock, which is these two pieces of rocks, to their community. They were doing their libation. So when the British left, they brought a piece of rocks here. They made an altar and they put it on it, and now it has turned into a shrine. And they call it Nana Tabio. And in Cape Coast, there are about 77 days. Nana is one of them. If you look at the corner here, before you do your candle piston, you can see flowers here. It doesn't mean that somebody died. Like the enslaved Africans take never outside. The actual people did not get the opportunity to come back alive as we are here today. But now, the descendants, like you, and I'm, I'm proud to see you here, are coming from, from daily base. Whenever they come and we go on the tour like this, frankly speaking, 
many, many of them share tears with us. So that depends on that belief. Some of them pray, they pour that wish, they do other rituals, and they live this So the last year being a year of return, so many of them came. Okay. We did some celebrities like Daniel Glova, Morris Kujo, uh, Stevie Harvey, the TI, and a lot of them came. So they become the like girls of here. So I'll pause in case you want to do your this thing here or to be done on the other side. I don't know where you want to do it. The candle lighting. You want to do it here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then the other option we have also for people who have more cam candles is the female dungeons. Not to be compared to a dun to a castle. Cold blood the man himself. Cold been going there for a good two decades. What's up, Cold blood? Good memories, right? A lot, lot of connections through the years. Yeah. How many are lighting the candles? 